Hi, my name is Julia Marchesi. I'm a filmmaker living in Hollywood, California. My first film, Out of Print, was a successfully crowdfunded, award-winning documentary about the importance of revival cinema and 35mm to culture. It was shot half on digital, half on film, featured awesome interviews with some really cool directors. The 35mm print was struck of the film, which now lives in the Academy archives. But it still plays in film archives, universities, and art house cinemas streaming as well around the world. As many of you know, I am a very big Stephen King fan, so I'm really excited to announce my next project, which is a short film adaptation of my favorite Stephen King short story, I Know What You Need, which was first published in 1976 in Cosmopolitan magazine and then added to the short story collection Night Shift in 1978. Now, I'm going to keep the film set when the story was written in 1976. It features a college girl who one night at the library meets a very odd boy whose first words to her are, I know what you need. And he does. It's a love story. But a Stephen King love story, so you know that things aren't always what they seem. I'm thrilled that the University of Maine, where Stephen King attended and where I Know What You Need is set, is going to allow us to film on their gorgeous campus, which means that this film will be shot in the exact locations referenced in the story. Now, this film is part of Stephen King's Dollar Baby program, where you can buy the rights to certain short stories of his for one dollar for one year, and you actually have to send Stephen King a dollar bill. And the terms, the film has to be 45 minutes or under, and non-profit, non-broadcast, which means that the film can't be sold, but it can play at film festivals and at private screenings. It means that the only way that you're guaranteed to see this film is for you to back this Indiegogo, and we'll send you a finished link when the movie is done. Now the most exciting part of the Dollar Baby program is that everybody has to send a finished copy of the film to Stephen King. He still, after all these years, wants to see how people interpret his work for the screen. So that means that you can be a part of a film that Stephen King himself will watch. Now I myself have been a Stephen King fan since I was a kid, reading It and Carrie and Pet Cemetery on the bus in junior high. And I went on this pilgrimage last autumn to Maine because it's taken on this mystical quality after reading about it for so many years. And I went on a tour in Bangor and I got to see the Dairy Canals and the Barrens and the Paul Bunyan and the Stormpipe. And I got to see Pennywise's drain and Stephen King's house. It was like Disneyland for constant readers. Amazing. Now, I realized two and a half years ago that I had never tackled his masterwork, the Dark Tower series. So I started it and fell in love with every character in every book and I didn't want it to end. I got to the 11th stanza in The Song of Susanna and I couldn't turn the page. I was too excited. I wanted to prolong this moment for as long as possible. So I decided to read every book connected to the Dark Tower series that Stephen King has written in this gigantic multiverse that he has created. So that's over 40 books and short stories that I've read in the last two and a half years. These are what I've read. So my love runs deep. Believe me, I understand the magnitude and the honor of adapting a Stephen King short story. I will be as faithful to the story as possible. I am a constant reader. I totally understand that you need to keep the feeling of his wonderful writing, but it will also be his story through my eyes. Now, I understand we're in the middle of a global pandemic right now and the film industry is just getting back on its feet, but this film won't be shot until the spring or summer of 2021, so I hope things will be a little bit calmer by then. And it has a very small cast, only three main characters, and a small crew as well, so we'll be as safe as possible. To all the constant readers and the casual ones as well, I hope that you will help this Stephen King fan dream come true to make a short film version of her very favorite story by her very favorite author. Thank you, Size. Long days and pleasant nights to you all. <laughs>